All right, so you already see the title of this video. What we're gonna be doing is showing off my sneakers. It's not a lot. If I remember correctly, it's probably about like 13, 14 or 15 pair of shoes. So before I even start showing them off, I just wanna explain how I got into sneaker collecting. I've always wanted to have a bunch of Jordan, Nikes, Air Maxes, Air Forces, you name it. But growing up, I never wanted my parents to drop that much money on a pair of shoes if my feet were continuing to grow. So now that my feet have stopped growing, now I buy my own pair of shoes. I try to get the ones that I really like and if I miss out, I get it from a shoe plug or what. That's a little background story of why I collect sneakers now as an adult. But without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, first off, kicking off the sneaker collection video, we have basic white Air Forces. I feel like as a shoe collector, this is something that every shoe collector needs to have. It's a basic white shoe and you cannot go wrong with getting Air Forces. Yes, you're gonna catch yourself buying a lot of pair of these because they do get messed up pretty easily and they do get creases pretty easily. But uh, here we go. Mines are still clean. Got a couple of creases, but Air Force Ones, like I said, it's a basic shoe that every shoe collector should have in my opinion. You cannot go wrong with an Air Force, all white. Or you can have black Air Forces. What comes with that is the energy of black Air Forces. You know, that whole meme, but white Air Forces. Okay, next up we have the Nike Air More Up Tempo 96 White Starfish. I copped these shoes because I got a Chainsaw Man hoodie from Anime Giru for free at DreamCon. And I was like, what bold shoe can I get to go with said jacket? Because Chainsaw Man has the colors of orange, black, and white. I wanted to look for an orange, black, and white shoe. And I was on Shoe Palace one day and I saw these and I said, these are perfect. Here go the Air More Up Tempos. I really love them. I think they're like an out there type of shoe and I always want to have a couple of out there type of shoes. So I really love it. Show it off some more. Yeah, these are the Nike Air More Up Tempo 96 White Starfish. Like I said, I love these shoes. I think everybody should have an out there type of shoe and these are my out there type of shoes. Okay, so next up we have the Nike Air Force High Under Constructions. Believe it or not, I found these shoes at a thrift store and I was like, man, this is a really good price. It's a steal, let me cop it. I have not worn these shoes yet. I really do want to though, but I have not found the right outfit to wear them with. I really do love these pair of shoes. Like I said, these are like my only pair of high Air Forces. Get a good look at it. Got Nike Air right there. Got a nice color scheme, of orange, gray, black. I love it. I think this is a really cool design. Like I said, I need to find a really good outfit to wear these with. But like I said, I found these at a thrift store and I was like, man, I got to cop it. I absolutely love these shoes. It's not really much more to it. These are my only pair of Air Force Highs. Hopefully I can find more like this because this is really cool. I'm not going to lie. Some of these shoes, I have to look up the name for them because I just do not know it by heart. I'm not there yet when it comes to my shoes. But right here we have the Air Max 97 Alter and Reveal Men's Shoe. My pops copped these for me and I absolutely love them. Um, these are probably the shoes I've worn the most out of all of my sneakers. But yeah, let's get a good look at it. I love the color scheme. It's beautiful. And another reason why I copped Air Maxes for you guys that do not know Eminem is, I'm stumbling over my words. Eminem is one of my favorite rappers and he used to wear a lot of Air Maxes. So I was like, I gotta have me a pair of Air Maxes. And I'm glad it's these. Cause like I said, I wear these a lot. Next up, we have the Nike Dunks LeBron Jane Fruity Pebble Shoes. I got these from Soul Plier, and I'm not going to lie, I spent way more than what they were worth. Um, I think I dropped like $225, but on like GOAT and all that, it's like $100 cheaper. So I was kind of upset about that, but the deed is already done. Yeah, these are LeBron James Nike Dunks Fruity Pebbles. As you can see, you got the, let me see, clear up. You got LeBron James logo right there. It's the Fruity Pebbles colorway. You got Fruity Pebbles on the shoelace, Fruity Pebbles on the tongue. Inside you got Fruity Pebbles on the sole with the Nike logo. I don't have a lot of outfits to wear with this shoe. I really do want to buy more stuff to wear with these shoes because I do not wear them that much. I love Fruity Pebbles. That's one of my favorite cereals to eat. Comment down below your favorite cereal to eat. So I thought it was cool to have shoes to go with that. Next up we have the Air Jordan Hyper Royal Blues. So you're gonna see a lot of ones in this video because 
Jordan 1s are my favorite type of shoes. Those are the shoes that my parents got me the most growing up, so I have a bias towards them. But I actually found these in the thrift shop as well. I was just walking around, and I saw them, and I said, yo, these go hard. And it looks kind of worn, as you can see. Obviously, they're used, but that's what I like about them. I feel like it gives it more character. I rarely wear them only because they're kind of old. And the shoelaces, I don't like. I feel like they're too small, and I like to have my shoes laced up a certain way. So when I do wear them like this, because I'm too lazy to go get shoelaces at the moment, they're always like flopping off of my foot. But until then, I would not be wearing these a lot. So these are the Hyper Royal Blue Air Jordan 1 Retros. And I got them from the thrift shop. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 1 Wear Away Chicago's. Now, before anybody goes to the comments, I know how a lot of sneakerheads feel about mids. Honestly, it doesn't matter to me. It's a shoe. If I like it, I'm going to rock it. I don't really care if they're mids, lows, or what. Even though I'm not a big fan of Jordan 1 lows. But if you are, that's perfectly fine. Wear what you want to wear. But I remember I made a video on Instagram. Follow my Instagram, RockyGram underscore. I remember I made a video showing off these shoes. And somebody's like, ugh, mids, ugh, mids. I got a lot of comments about mids. And it's like, dog, you don't like it. That's cool. But I'm going to rock them. They're Chicago's. We all know Chicago highs are hard to get. And this was the closest I was gonna get to it at the moment I got it. But I really do love these shoes. I can't wait to see how they get after they wear away a bit more. Um, I rarely wear these shoes. So they're probably not gonna wear away quick enough. But um, yeah, these are the wear away Chicago ones mid. And we have another pair of Air Jordan 1 mid and these are the breads. I want these in the high top. Um, what is it called? I believe it's called patent leather highs. Those are the ones that I want. I saw them on GOAT. A lot of my cousins have them and I want the highs and I just love the patent leather look to it. I got these I want to say while I was in college. I can't remember exactly. Um, it does have a form of wear to it. You can't really see it. Maybe if you look right here where the creases are at you could tell. But I used to wear these at my old job a lot, Target. So, yeah. Hopefully, I can get the highs. I love these shoes. Again, they're mids. Feel how you feel about it. I don't wear these that much anymore, but I used to wear them a lot. Um, I just found better shoes that I love more and that I love to wear more. But I still think these are a dope pair of sneakers. Next up, we have the Space Jam Air Jordan 1 mids. So, when did I get these shoes? I got these off the sneakers app when they dropped. So these are like the only pair of shoes I managed to get when they dropped. But these are the Space Gems. Look how the light bounces off the shoe. I absolutely love them. I don't wear them that much just because the fabric right here gets a lot of scuffs on it pretty easy. But um, it has blue bottoms. Obviously they're not blue no more. They're dirty. But yes, these are Air Jordan 1 Mid Space Gems. I absolutely love them. I can't wait for the 11s to come out next year, the lows. I will be copping those. Okay, we got Air Jordan 1 Retro OG University Blues, and these are high tops this time. But I remember seeing them, it's like I gotta cop these because it was a really good price. That, and I had this jacket in my closet that I've never worn for the simple fact that I did not have shoes to match the colorway. This is the exact colorway of said jacket, so I finally have something to wear with it, and I will be taking pictures in the whole fit. I've been planning it out since I got the jacket. But, like I said, I just copped these somewhere, I can't remember. I know a lot of people that are friends of mine want these pair of shoes. So it makes me happy that I got it and they don't, I guess. I don't know. Not to be cocky or anything. I really do love these shoes. I love the blue on it. And I think there are mids that are like the same colorway, but it's more black in it. I believe my father has those. These are the University Blues. Get a good look at it colorway is so beautiful like the light bounces off of it perfectly all right next up we have across the spider-verse air jordan ones for the spider-verse movie um a lot of people do not like these shoes in my circle they think they're ugly me personally i think they're cool i feel like they fit the movie way more than the original release for the first movie because spider-verse is about a bunch of different spider-man from different universes so you had different arts you had different fabrics 
just a bunch of different stuff to show how unique each universe is in the movie. So I feel like this shoe did a really good job at capturing that because you have different fabrics all around the shoe. And I think they're just very beautiful. Now, these shoes are in the movie. Like I said, a lot of people didn't think they were going to be in the movie. And I thought that would be stupid. I'm like, why would they sit here and make shoes to promote a movie and it not be in a movie? It's in a very small scene. You got to catch it. Um, basically, Miles was talking to Uncle Aaron. And since he wasn't in the right universe, he was rocking the OG Chicago's from the first movie. But he glitches out and the shoes glitch along with him and turn into these bad boys right here. I love the bottoms. They glow in the dark. Um... Let me see if I can show it off. Okay, for some odd reason, the camera was not picking it up, but it did glow in the dark. I'm pretty sure there's better YouTube videos out there showing it off. But yes, I absolutely love these shoes. These are from Across the Spider-Verse. I love them. I wear them a lot. And they glow in the dark. Unfortunately, I could not show it off on the camera because the camera did not pick it up. But yeah, um, I have one more pair of ones. And then I think I got a couple of shoes left after that, but these are the Spider-Verses. These are my most recent pickups. My parents got these for my 22nd birthday, which was last week, I believe, if I remember correctly, September 26th, from 22. But um, I wanted these shoes so bad. And they were like, what do you want? What do you want? And I couldn't think of anything. And then these shoes dropped and I was like, I would love to have these. So my parents caught me these for my birthday. I absolutely love them. I've only worn them twice and I managed to come up with some pretty cool outfits with these pair of shoes. These are the Air Jordan 1 High Palominos. They have another shoe like it, the Air Jordan 1 Mochas, and they basically look like Travis Scott's. A friend was telling me that they basically made the Air Jordan 1 Mocha for the people that missed out on the Travis Scott's. I think those are a very cool pair of shoes as well, but I like this more. I don't need a lot of white in my shoes, so I think this is just good enough. But to get a good look at it, I love the fabric on it. As you can see, I try to keep my shoes clean as much as possible. And seeing like all these different lighter parts on the brown, I thought, I was like, man, is it messed up? But a lot of people, Palominos look like this. And I think it's cool that it has like the Nike logo in gold and inside gold as well. But I actually love these shoes. These are my most recent cops. Um, I'm not gonna wear them that much cause I just don't wanna mess them up. I really do love these shoes and how they look brand new. But I'll wear it every now and then. Um, I'll rock it with a, a couple of the outfits. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 4 Thunders. Guys, my favorite color is yellow. I love fours. Not as much as I do one, but I do think they're really cool. So when I saw that these were getting re-released, I had to cop them. That, and these are shoes that I always wanted as a kid growing up. I saw my friends copping them and rocking them. So I was like, man, eventually, once I start making the money for it and I'm older and I can afford it, I will cop it. So here's the thing, they had a sneaker drop, I was in line for it, they said I had it, and then all of a sudden I lost it. I don't know how I managed to lose it. So, I had to get it through a shoe plug, a very good friend of mine, and he hooked me up. I wear these shoes a lot as well. Not lately, but when I first got them, I wore them like crazy. So let's get a good look, it has a good fabric on it. I love the yellow. I know it's kind of bright, but I love the yellow on these shoes. But um, I do want to get more fours. They got some coming out next year. So where the black is at is white and the yellow is still yellow. Forgot the name of it. If you do know the name of them, drop it down below in the comments. It comes out next year in the summertime. But yeah, these are the Air Jordan 4 Thunders. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 5 DJ Khaled. I hate these shoes. I hate them. Um, the reason why I say that is because there's not a lot of stuff that go with this shoe. Now, if you just are really good at styling clothes and all that and colorways, then hey, you probably do a better good job at rocking these shoes. I said a better good job. You do a better job than me to style these shoes. I mean, I have some... Yeah. Sorry. Um, if you could do a better job at styling these, hey, I salute you. But you see it has like this salmon color. I thought it was pink. I didn't know why I thought that because on the website it does say 
like a salmon type of color, whatever you call it. But I could possibly find something to go with the blue part. It came with three different sets of shoelaces. It came with this color, the blue ones, and some black ones. Why did it come with black ones? I guess for the very little amount of black that's in the shoe. I like the inside of the shoe. Um, this is not a good first experience with fives. Um, I think the next pair of five that I want to get are the Oreos. My cousin has them and they're beautiful and I love Oreos too. So I like, man, I got to cop those as well. Um, can't really see it no more, but at the bottom it says we the best. And on the other pair, it says God did. God did! But God did, I mean! If you're a Christian, comment down below, God did. God first always. But um, I thought it was cool that it said God did. And I know inside the shoe, I think it says keep moving forward. I believe I can't remember because right here it says keep. I don't know what it says in the other shoe. I think it says keep going. I'm not sure. I do not like these shoes. I can't rock it with a lot of stuff. Um, maybe that'll change over time once I get better with my style and my clothing and matching colors. But for now, I just do not like these shoes. These are the only pair of fives that I have. Should've got a different pair as my first pair of fives. So, I'm gonna get the Oreos and I can't wait to wear those. Next up, we have the Jordan 12 Fibas. Guys, these are the shoes that started off the sneaker collection. I love these, they have a very special place in my heart. I don't wear them that much because I work at a warehouse, so I, I don't really get to wear a lot of my shoes. So I only have Saturday and Sunday to wear them or days that I'm off. But yeah, I got these with student loan money. Don't do what I did. But I will say I copped everything that I needed for school first. But since I was stepping into college as a new person, because you know college is where you get to start over in a way, I like I want to go into college with really cool sneakers or what they used to call it, shoe game. I don't think they call it that no more, but oh well. So, the colorway is white, gold, and red. Got the little Jumpman logo. And I don't know if you can see, but it's like a lot of different texture designs inside that part of the shoe. And I think it's awesome. You got Jordan right here. You got the Jumpman in red. Inside of it is red. And back got the 23 with this very cool logo for the Feebus. I love these shoes. Like I said, it's a special place in my heart. It has a special place in my heart. And I want to get more 12s. But to be honest, I want to get more shoes in general. I really like collecting shoes so far. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Pretty good start. And what I want to incorporate into my sneakers is fashion. So on Instagram and all that, that's what I'm going to start doing a bit more is putting outfits together and showing it off. But um, I can't wait to do that, and I can't wait to get more shoes. This is part one. I'm only saying part one because I know there's going to be a point in time to where I have way more shoes than these pairs that are sitting here all around me on the floor. But yeah, Jordan 12 Fibas. Okay, I was recording that thumbnail, don't judge me. Um, if I had to choose my three favorite pair of shoes out of all of my sneakers, it's definitely these, the Palomino, the Spider-Versa, and the Thunder Force. I love these, I probably wear these the least, but they're my favorite to wear, and I don't like to risk messing them up. That's why I don't wear them that much. But yeah, these are my top three favorite shoes that I have in my collection. I don't think that's gonna change for a minute. But, yes you guys, Thank you so much for tuning in to this YouTube video. Um, whatever type of content you want, comment down below. I'll do my best to deliver. Like I said, this channel is really based upon whatever I feel like it. At this point, I haven't really figured out what I want to do with this channel. Vlogs for sure, showing off collections for sure, but I definitely want to do gaming and reaction videos. And I do believe I want them all on this channel. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at RockyGram underscore, or is it underscore RockyGram? It's one of those, you will notice me, I'm rocking the beanie. And yes, I still have my hair. I didn't cut it off. Um, I actually locked my hair up because I just got tired of taking it out every single day. Not every single day, every other week and having my mother just retwist them. Um, I got tired of doing that. And it's in the ugly stage right now, so I'm wearing a beanie until they grow out to look nice. 
But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I love you guys. You guys have a blessed one. Stay awesome. Put God first. I can do all things with Christ that strengthen me. Bye.